digas que no ¿Cómo quieres que te quieras si he perdido la cabeza y recupero la razón cuando me besa? ¿Cómo quieres que te quieras si me siento una muñeca que maneja no su antojo y no se queja? Hay que paciencia Hay que paciencia Hay que paciencia la mía No me digas que no Hey everybody, this is Ben. I'm back getting this week for the Cigar Review. And this week I'm doing something that came out new this year and it's really caught my attention. Uh, and that is the new Room 101 Namakubi. This, this cigar is a limited edition release through Room 101 and it's a meaning to full cigar. And it's this, this cigar, I originally, I, I didn't get to go to IPCPR this year, but I was able to um, get a sample of this when Garrett Calhoun, uh, the Davidoff rep from my local shop, stopped by and he gave us one of these a sample and actually gave me this petite Corona. And the, my local shop, I'm not really sure what all size they came in, but our shop ordered these petite Coronas that come in a box of 50 and also got um, a Robusto size or like a short Robusto and a 6x60. Now I didn't try the 6x60 because as you well know if you've seen any you know, of my reviews before I don't like that size. I don't like those giant cigars. It's just not for me. I like a Corona Corona Gorda size and so this one right here I've tried a ton of these and I've tried a lot of the uh, the short Robustos too. Um, this cigar has got an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, a um, Generoso actual binder from Honduras which I don't know much more much about that one and the filler is Dominican Nicaraguan Honduran so it's got a really good flavor profile from what I from the ones that I've tried and I, actually these cigars none of the ones I've had have had any kind of problems whatsoever so I'll let you look at this thing it actually looks a little bit rough to be honest I mean, it's not the prettiest looking cigar. Nice little filler in there. Let's do the cap of it. It's not bad looking. And what's cool is, and it's kind of something that um, Matt Booth and I kind of share, is I have a real affinity for the Samurai and the history of it. I've studied it for a long time. Um, probably because I, I took eight years of Aikido uh, when I was in high school and stuff, it went on in college. And, you know, with, within Aikido, you get real in depth with, you know, some of the ways, the culture, the samurai, and the way they did things or whatever. So, anyway, I've always, you know, had a, you know, a real thirst for knowledge about, you know, anything samurai. And what Namakubi is, it's um, when the samurai went into battle for each shogun, whenever the winning clan they won they presented usually it was the the shogun or the generals for the other clan that they they beat they would sever their heads either from you know the wounded or you know the dead leader and, and tag it and present it on a wooden plank to their shogun or their generals and that's what Damakubi is so pretty cool and uh right now I'm looking at Corona cigars the camera I bought so much of these at my uncle's shop. I can't remember what they charge them, but uh, the little cigar is running about about five bucks for one of these, which is that's a really good price. And this is actually called the uh, Puppy Chulo. <laughs> I don't even know what the name of this one was until just now, and I've smoked pro literally probably twelve to fifteen of these so far, but um. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the cigar now. Let me do a little clip of this thing. The draw is a little loose, but it has a, a real woody flavor with a pepper. That's just, it's exactly what it is. It's just woody pepper, real, real pepperness to it.
I actually don't get much smell off the wrapper at all. Just like a real faint, oaky smell to it. But it's really faint. Which put them pretty much the same way. Real faint, oaky uh, smell to it. But that's that's about it. I'm going to fire this thing up. I'm really liking how a lot of the new uh, cigars that come out for different companies, either new lines or, or new line extensions, they're adding a petite Corona, and that's that's been one of my favorite sizes for many reasons. Um, it's a good like lunchtime smoke, you know, if you, you got like an hour lunch or whatever, or you know a little quick smoke if you know you don't have enough time. But I like them because they're using their little flavor bombs. Um, like one of my favorite uh, petite Coronas is like the Party Guy Short, the Cuban Party Guy Short, or um, or even the regular Party Guy uh, Petite Corona, the Boulevard Petite Corona. They've always been real, real popular Cuban sizes, and especially those brand, those those lines. I really, I really enjoyed them. So I like how the, a lot of the new stuff coming out, they're adding a Petite Corona or they've extended their line and incorporate one and if you look back last year even some of the most popular ones cigars or whatever were the Petite Coronas kind of like the uh, Tatawahi Petite Cazadores which is a, I personally freaking love that cigar of uh, the Veracruz number no. 5 or uh, from Tatawahi and the uh, the Red Level line Havana line and uh, or like the uh, 68 from Lucioni that's a that's, that cigar is super popular like in my local shop the, the cigar shop in Bluffton, Mississippi, which is where I got this one at. That one sells out really quick. They can barely keep them in stock. So that's and like the new uh, Oliva Serie V number four. That's a hot cigar right now too, and that's a little petite Corona. So this is becoming a really popular size right now. It's actually get it has a um, a nice you know like an oaky start to it, but it's like a got a creaminess to it, but it's just a little bit a little bit to it. And the retro hell, you get it more of a spice note, and it's you don't really get that unless you retro hell the cigar at the very beginning of it. So it's got some really good complementary flavors to it that I really enjoy. It has a real nice, um, real nice smoke bomb, really, and it really coats your palate too. But anyway, since this is such a short smoke, I like I want to do. Uh, I'll come back about the halfway mark and give you my thoughts then. So I'll see you in a second. Everybody, I'm back. And part of this uh, midpoint now, the cigar just has a really nice, sweet, woody core to it, with a, a nice spice note to it. It's a, a nice, like a white pepper uh, spice to it. Get a little bit of a tang on the back of my throat. When you retrohale, you get a really good blast of it. It's it's not too strong when you go when you retrohale it, so it's not gonna burn your sinuses out, but. It definitely amplifies it probably about threefold when you retrohale a cigar. Just a really nice cigar. It's probably the best room one on one to date for me. Um, it's just it's smoking really well. Um, no burn issues, no relights, no nothing. You see, it's uh, burning pretty well also. But uh, anyway. That I've only had to knock the ash off one time. It actually holds a pretty good ash for a, a cigar this small. So, uh, so far, so good. Uh, really good flavors. Pretty straightforward, the flavors, though, but it's really nice. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish this thing off, and I'll let you know my uh, what I think in the conclusion. See you in a second. Everybody, I'm at the end of the cigar now. And the flavors have pretty much remained the same, except the sweetness has died down. So now you get that woody core with the, a, the spice note being the two dominant notes. 
the sweetness it's it's still there but it's faded a lot but still a really good cigar especially for the the money five bucks for this little petite corona it's definitely worth five bucks like i said i've gone through a ton of these at my local shop i mean the the whole bo a 50 count box i mean they only got it in like last week and it's gone it, that whole thing's gone um like i said it's a limited release from room 101 everyone understand um every edition now coming out of the room 101 is going to be a limited edition so like once you know they get them they're gone they're gone forever so uh definitely go out and grab some of these this is this is a really really good quality stick uh, like i said it's it's kind of you know it's a little bit simplistic in its flavor profile but it's it's very very good i really enjoy these and uh pretty much all my other uh buddies that I go to the cigar shop with, they also do the same thing. They prefer the petite corona size out of all of them, and it's a very enjoyable stick. Uh, matter of fact, uh, Sean, our fellow reviewer here, we were at the shop today. He bought actually the last uh, few of these that was left. So my shop's now out of them. I don't know if they'll be able to get any more. Hopefully they will. Um, so this is definitely one to seek out. I really, really like this cigar. So check this thing out. It's definitely worth seeking out. I'm sure you can buy them. I know, like I said, Corona Cigar size, but I just looked up the price online when I gave you the price uh, in the review. So I know they have them. So check these out. Get these. It's well worth it. So on that note, remember, nothing beats a nice tight ash.